is a unit that I regret losing, it would have to be one that none of the cast members bought. One of the no-names bought it, and it was a really good locker. It was full of Tupperware and all brand new products from front to back. It had a lot of nice crystal wear, Tupperware. It was a really, really good household unit. That locker went for $2,000, and that locker would have been worth about $15,000. And when you talk about losing a unit, I only lose the ones that I want to lose. So really, there are none. 38, 59, and 39. There's been a lot of units that have gotten away from me that I wish I would have got, but that's all hindsight, you know? You get outbid or you outbid somebody and you just take what you can and make the most profit you can with it. But you can't cry over spilt milk. I don't have x-ray vision, so I can only base my buying on, on my instinct and my eyes. and. Uh, I can't help, just dumb luck. 30, 100, gotta yeah. go against what? 30, I've got 3,200, 33, 3,400 dollars gotta go and I have so much no. wager. There's none that stick in my mind, but I can tell you that it's happened many times. There's many times I've bid on a unit and got cold feet. Maybe Brandy was yapping in his ear. So I didn't follow through, didn't win the unit, and was mad for the whole rest of the day. I mean, that happens. One, one out of three auctions, I lose a night of sleep over what I didn't get. Whether I buy or didn't buy, doesn't matter. It's always the one that got away. You lose sleep wondering, like, was there a safe in that unit? Was there a gold bar in that unit? You know, what was in that unit? It's I mean, completely there, obnoxious. There's a lot of them. It, it's not just one. There's a lot of times where you're like, man, I should have bought that unit. Naturally, it's like 20-20 hindsight. Once you find out the locker that you passed on and you see that somebody else bought, of course you're regretful, but nothing much you can do about that. That happens a lot.